Your business is up and running, your products are doing well, and you are hard at work. All of a sudden, a competitor grabs a new market opportunity that should have been yours. How do you stay alert to changing markets? How do you focus on the present, yet have a vision for the future? As editorial director of Entrepreneur Magazine, Riva Lizonski has direct and straightforward advice to share. Imagine yourself five years from now. What's your business look like? Who are you selling to? What are you selling? Have you changed locations? Did you move across town? Did you move across the country? Have you started a chain? Have you started a franchise? How about the broader business environment? Who's buying now? Who's influencing purchasing? What are they buying? What do they want? Are your customers or suppliers mainly domestic? Are they global? Are they a mix of both? Think about five years from now, today. Where did those big opportunities come from? A lot of times people underestimate or sort of dismiss a market. Several years ago, most people completely underestimated the buying power of the Latino market. While most Americans would get junk mail and throw it out, that mail sent to Latina house, Latino households was not thrown out because they got so little of it. Another market that nobody imagined would have any buying power because they didn't think they had any money were tweens. Tweens are kids aged nine to 12. Nobody thought they'd have any economic clout. Well, I want you to look for these signs in your own business to see if it's time for you to pick up the pace. One, your employees are working hard, too hard, because there's simply too much to do and not enough time to do it. This means it's either time to reorganize and restructure staff roles, or more likely, it's time to add to headcount. Two, there's an increased demand for your products and services. Are you squeezing clients in? Are you turning, turning away new customers? Three, Hopefully you're keeping an eye on industry, business, and social trends, and notice your existing competitors are either breaking into new markets, or all of a sudden there's new competition creeping up. For retailers, the eBay, the advent of eBay took a lot of people by surprise because even though eBay's been around for 11 years now, a lot of people were like, oh, they're just selling junk. Well, a lot of people aren't selling junk, they're running businesses, they're your competition. You have to act now. You have to take your own innovative approaches to marketing and to selling, or soon you're gonna be eating the, your competitor's dust. So try to imagine who are the new emerging markets gonna be, and what actions do you need to take right now? What actions do you need to take a year from now to get your business to where you just imagined it in 2012? As a small business owner, it's important to stay aware of changing market trends, advice, and strategies that can make a difference for your business. We talk to thousands of small business owners just like you, and based on their feedback, we built the Microsoft Small Business Center website as a valuable resource to meet your business needs. Just follow this link to get to it.